Ever pondered on the process of calculating the mean and variance of a discrete random variable? Well, today is your lucky day because that's precisely the topic we're about to dive into. First off, let's comprehend what a discrete random variable is. A discrete random variable is a type of random variable that can take on a finite or countably infinite number of values. Think about flipping a coin. The outcomes, heads or tails, are discrete and countable. Now on to the mean, also known as the expected value. It's a measure of central tendency, a value around which the data points tend to gather. To calculate the mean of a discrete random variable, multiply each possible outcome by the probability of that outcome and then sum the results. Consider a simple dice roll, where each face has an equal chance one-sixth of appearing. The mean is the sum of each outcome multiplied by its probability. That would be one times one-sixth, plus two times one-sixth, up to six times one-sixth, which equals three and a half. But life isn't just about averages, is it? We also need to understand the spread of our data, and that's where variance comes into play. Variance measures how far data points are spread out from their average value. To calculate the variance, we first need to find the difference between each data point and the mean, then square it. Multiply each squared difference by the probability of that difference and sum those products. This gives us the variance. In our dice roll example, the variance would be calculated by subtracting the mean 3.5 from each outcome, squaring the result, and then multiplying by the probability of each outcome, one-sixth. Summing these products gives us the variance, which is around 2.9. To recap, we've learned that a discrete random variable can take on a finite or countably infinite number of values. We've seen that the mean or expected value is calculated by multiplying each possible outcome by its probability and summing the results. And we discovered that variance is calculated by finding the square difference between each data point and the mean, multiplying each square difference by its probability, and summing those products. This information provides us not only with an average value, but also a sense of the spread of our outcomes, essential for understanding the nature of our data. The beauty of statistics is that it takes complex data and distills it into comprehensible, usable information. So next time you roll a dice or flip a coin, remember, there's a world of statistics at play.